Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and welcome to Family Worship here at St. Andrews. Uh, my name's John, and this is Hannah and Nathan, if you don't know us already. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful, sunny day, when, at least when we're recording this. Yeah. Uh, and it's, uh, it's uh, been, again, another one, one of those uh, funny weeks of late April. It was kind of cold and rainy, so hopefully we'll get a little bit more of uh, a bright of spring. Of this kind of weather. Yeah. And I uh, hope that online school is going well for all of you. How, how did it go for you guys this week? Uh, decent. Decent? Uh, not too bad, but not too good either. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a challenge. It's got some upsides and some, some definite downsides. So we're all in it together and I uh, hope uh, things go as well as possible for you guys. Okay, so we uh, get into our th Big God theme this week with our question. And I think, Nathan, you're going to read, read it out for us. Um, this, the question is, what is something you know a lot about? Um, so how about you answer the question first, Hannah? Yeah, so what do you know a lot about, Hannah? Right. <laughs> Hannah knows a lot about art. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, my answer that. to the question is, what is something you know all about Pokemon? I know an insane amount of, po of the stuff about Pokemon. Yeah, we got you a book when you asked us for one, and I know you, you love Pokemon. So I wonder and I don't like it. <laughs> yes, so what, uh, I'm sure you guys all know a lot, lots about certain things as well. All right, so that, that sort of leads us into our theme for the day. But to get there, we have to do our game. So... Has he done that for the last I... couple of weeks? Yes, yeah, I, think, I think this is our last week of Guess Who. So Hannah, yeah. you get to go first. Who do you think that is? I can't... I don't know no, I think it's no. no. Okay, uh, give Hannah one more chance. Fine, Nathan can do it. He already said it. Buzz Lightyear. Yes, it is Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, I recognize. All right. Do you want? Do you want to have? Do you want to have it go on the second one, sweetie? Shrek. Yeah, that's Shrek. It is Shrek. I recognize ears. Yeah. So we'll let we'll let Hannah take this one. Mary Poppins. Guess that one. Yeah, so that was it worked out well for that we had. So this one's yours, buddy. Um that is wait the candy hat. Alright, and so you guys both have a shot at the last one, okay? Okay. Ready? That is Maybe Yoda. Yoda Yoda. You are I can't see it. Yeah. I can't see it. That is full grown Yoda, not baby Yoda, which I, I can't don't... see it. That's like I can't see old Yoda. Okay. I All can't right, so see it. so who would like to have a first go at the memory verse today? Uh, Nathan already know. Always knows it, so he can go first. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit is growing to each of us in a. Actually, I like the Holy Spirit is good. It's give. And giving is giving to each of us. Um, and I don't know. In a spe special, special way. Yep. That is for the good of all. That is correct. The Holy Spirit is given to each of us in a special way. That I is thought it was way harder. I thought it was I thought it was super. That actually was <laughs> way super. harder. That is that was actually super. way harder yeah. than it was than uh, than it looked. Well, we have a new memory verse starting this week, which is a little bit simpler. Let's say it all together. Where your treasure, where your treasure is, you there's yeah, your, your heart. Oh, I'll let you leave. Yeah, yeah where, where your treasure is. You, there your heart will be also. Yeah. I wonder what that's supposed to represent. Yeah. yeah, well, it means that what what whatever you value the most, whatever you want the most, that also tells you where your heart is first. So that's the question. Is, is, does God have first place in our heart? Do our families have first place in our heart? Or do things or money have first place in our heart? And that's money! <laughs> money! Okay, so we've uh, we've done our game, we've done our memory verse, 
Maybe uh, it's the one where that the side of maybe the Oscar is the one where the side will get stones. But no, maybe that is that is also Let in the book. Let's do the disciples of where that disciple gets to a place where the disciple got yeah. death. Then he got stoned like the like Judas, like the one who betrayed Jesus. Yeah, well, that is one story in the book of Acts. We'll see that maybe it's that one, maybe. Uh, but our, we're looking at the theme. So our, we've been working through stuff about the Holy Spirit, and our question was, what is something you know a lot about? Any ideas about what you think our theme Holy might be? Holy Spirit! Yeah, <laughs> something about that. Maybe this is the one where will pause. Yeah, we'll see. All right, ready? we got to get our big God theme machine going. So ready? One, two, three, go. Our theme today is the Holy Spirit knows our hearts, and it's it's not it's not the story that that, that, that you thought it might be because there, there's lots of stories in the Book of Acts. We don't, we're not going to get through all of them this year. It's something we'll probably come back to we'll come back to again in another year. Actually, with I think story. it must involve the Holy Spirit. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Any, I don't know. Yeah. Story. Yeah, well, it, it and it's a story that I'm not sure you guys know. It's 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 a more challenging story that we don't always look at, but it's a, it I think it teaches us some important things, even as it is a little bit more of a, a difficult story to to work through. So let's let's turn to it now. What a wonderful time it was for the new church in Jerusalem. All the believers were of the same heart and mind. They were filled with the Holy Spirit and told all the people about how Jesus had risen from the dead. The love of God was working powerfully through them all. In fact, they were so united that nobody in their group kept anything for themselves. They shared everything they owned. There wasn't a single person among them in need. And in order to meet their needs, from time to time, someone from their group would take land or a house that they owned and they would sell it, bring the money before the apostles' feet, and then they would distribute it to those in need. Within their group, there was a couple named Ananias and Sapphira, who also sold some of their land like others. They wanted to be seen as good givers, like some of the others, but they also didn't want to give away everything that they had. So they kept some of the money for themselves, but told everyone that they were giving it all to God. Ananias came and brought the money before Peter. Here it all is, he said. Peter looked at the money and knew that Ananias was lying and asked him, Why did you let Satan fill your heart today? It was your money and you could have done anything you wanted with it. But instead, you lied to the Holy Spirit today. And that means you lied to God. When Ananias was confronted with this, he fell down and died. About three hours later, Sapphira came in. She didn't know what had happened to Ananias. And Peter asked her, Sapphira, how much of the money from your land did you give to God today? She answered, Ananias and I, we gave it all. Peter told her how sad he was that she and Ananias had decided to lie to God that day. At that, she also fell over and died. What a sad thing it was that Ananias and Sapphira decided that 
lying to their friends and to God was the better choice to make. The Holy Spirit wanted so much more for them. They did not need to lie. The Holy Spirit knows our hearts. Yeah, that's what happened. I actually remember that story now. Yeah, it's a bit of a tough story. It has... Why did they not... Yeah. Like... They, they just, come alive again. Yeah. Did they come alive again, or did they just stay dead? They just stay dead. That's what, yeah. the, least, what well, the story says. But well, let's let 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 let's go back to the beginning. I, this this has the story has some tough parts. Too. But let's go back to the beginning and start start with the with the good stuff. That what what was the good thing that was happening? Well, the, ch well, the church was doing really well. Everyone was distributing. Everyone occasionally was selling their property and unneeded items and then giving the money to the poor yeah the church was doing pretty was doing great yeah anything else Hannah, that stood out for you is the the, the 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 good stuff that was happening at the start of the story yeah there was nobody in yeah, need. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that was what that, that god's people were supposed to share and that, that make sure that everybody had everything they need and if anybody had anything extra they would sell it and give it to the apostles, the leaders of the church who were trustworthy, and so that it could be shared with everybody who had need. And that was great. That was all what God's people were always supposed to do, and it was happening, happening there. And it was it was proof that that uh, Jesus was making a difference in people's lives. And then, and that's probably seemed like a really good thing. So why do you think that that Ananias and Sapphira decided to pretend to give uh, all their extra, all so their extra they money? Could be rich. Yeah, so, so they can buy happiness. Yeah, so, so they, 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 yes, they, 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 they wanted to keep the money. I, yes, I, I think the reason why they wanted to keep the money is so that they could have power and fame and something. Well, yeah, that money was important. But why, but why then did they pretend to give it all uh, to you God? Wait, the same that into their heart. You know, that's that's one thing that Peter says. But why why do you think why why do you think you might sometimes lie about something that good that you you, you said you did? Hmm. Why might you why might you lie or pretend? So so that you can get the benefits of the other people's love for you. Yeah, we we want to look good in 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 front of others, and but as much as we can we can lie to other people, and we might even get good at it. Uh, but ultimately, God knows what's in our hearts, and the Holy Spirit knows what's in our hearts. And it was it was kind of a foolish thing to do because that was a time when when the when the Holy Spirit was very was very people knew it very well, and kind of silly to think that they could get away with it. And, yeah. And um, especially since well, God knows people's hearts because He well literally created them. Yeah. And, and it, again, it, it's it's a hard it's a, it's this sort of thing doesn't happen in the Bible stories very often. Usually, God gives people lots of chances, and um, but it, I think this story highlights how important it was. So, so that, that uh, so people couldn't trust uh, the, that these followers of Jesus were really different because of his resurrection, because of the Holy Spirit. It would uh, really make people think that oh, wait, God's not doing anything new here. And that's one one thing where it's really important for us as followers of Jesus today to to be honest with who we are to not try to pretend and show people that we're better than we are because i mean for one thing god knows how how, how we are in our hearts but eventually as jesus said eventually everything that's hidden will be found out and so that if we pretend that we're better than we are and people find out that no we're not so good or we have we still make mistakes or, or have things where we're not putting God or, or Jesus first, then it can it can make people doubt God and doubt Jesus. And so it's really important for us to be honest because uh, as, Pe as Peter said, Ananias and Sapphira could have sold a piece of property and said, oh, we're only going to give a little bit because that, that's where we are. And that would have been okay. God accepts us as we are and invites us to grow in our faith and trust. But they had to lie yeah. so they could get the spotlight mm -hmm. from all the um from from all the new newer disciples yeah and so honesty is important and also 
again, do our best and trust that God will help us to grow in his goodness. But, but it's really important not to pretend and, 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 and lie to others. Because uh, then we, we don't actually ever get a chance to grow because we always think we're better than we are. So let's let's pray for, for God to work in our hearts and help us to, to tell the truth and also work work and do those good things that God wants for us, like sharing our, our belongings and helping others. Let's let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that you know our hearts and we pray that you would help us to, to always tell the truth to you and and to others as much as we might feel like we need to earn your love we know we don't need to do that you love us as we are even as you call us to grow in your goodness and to love others help us to trust you to put you first in our lives and uh, and just do our best knowing that you help us with your holy spirit we don't have to lie we don't have to pretend all we need is in you we pray this in your name lord jesus Amen. All right. Well, that is all for this week. Uh, and we are going to, we actually won't see you for two weeks because next week, family worship will be will be led by Pastor Nancy from uh, St. Paul's Church in Carluc. Uh, but we'll be back again. I uh, hope you have a, a, a good time with her doing doing the Big God story next week. So and then we'll see it's you. Time to say bye. Wait. So yeah, well, we, we, we've already lost Hannah. So. Again, have have a have a good couple Bye. of weeks. Hope See you, have... you in two the the two weeks instead of the usual one week. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye everyone. Take care. God bless. Be well.